How's it going, everybody? I am Super Thirty One back with episode number ten of my manager mode with Everton. And if you watched the last match, we got our butts handed to us by Liverpool. It was not pretty. Uh, did not have very good luck at all with the team I brought out. So much so that the board were a bit disappointed. I've gotten my first warning from the board. Obviously, we're going to have to change some dynamics for the next match. Uh, as you see, Distin did pick up a red card. However, our next match is a Europa League match, so that red card won't go into effect until our next BPL game. So, we were taking on for our second uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Europa League game against Lech Potsdam at home. And we really need to get a result at home. We haven't played well at home all season. But we're going to run a 4-4-2. They're also running a 4-4-2. I uh, just feel maybe I was playing a little too high up against Liverpool and maybe my wingers playing back a little more might help uh, out my attack and we'll try Naismith and Lukaku up top. But Distant is in this game. He'll play on, he'll, he'll have to serve a suspension in the next match. So without further ado guys, I will see you on the pitch. This is Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Euro League. Let's head straight for Goodison Park, then the home of Everton, but a bleak night on Merseyside with the rain continuing to tumble down. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. It is now match day two we've reached in the Euro League. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this two evenly matched sides, so uh, won't be too much in it, I don't think. Everton trying to put on a better show today. They lost their last match. It was away from home against Liverpool. Yeah, the 2-0 defeat sent out a few alarm bells, I've got to say, but uh, the players have been made aware of their responsibilities. I think they'll bounce back today. I think they'll win. And today, it's Everton versus Lech Poznan. Everton have made one change. Tim Howard starts in goal. Sylvain Distan starts with Phil Jagielka as the centre-backs. James McCarthy plays with Gareth Barry in the centre of the park. Stephen Naismith starts together with Romelu Lukaku. This is the away team lineup. Maybe we should take in uh, with special interest seeing him play today. We might not see that much of him in the future because he is talking and there has been talk around him of retirement. I'm surprised about that. I know he's been around for a long time, but I still think he's got a couple more years left in him. Philippe de Boussier is the man in charge of this game today. He's gone out to the wingman. Oh, well reached by the keeper to turn it Oh, Tim, big save. That one out of the bag. They've got a corner now. Had a nice quick break there. Tim coming back, making a nice pump save. Tim stepping up. We're... Here's the chance. Oh wow! This is some Look at this strike! I didn't even see it. Oh my God! What a strike by Potsdam! Deservedly, I think. Oh wow! They caught us off guard. Not good. Who scored that? That was a uh, lot. <laughs> With a wonderful strike, and they got their first goal of this Europa League, and now we are down at home again. Oh, come on, you guys! You got to get on that ball. Foul by the Everton player. He's going to get yellow here, Alan. Yeah, yeah we'll get. So we'll take the booking uh, here. Expecting anything but that. 
these days, running off your feet like that is running the risk of the referee taking serious action. Well, he's dived in. It's a reckless one. Yeah, very reckless challenge, but we had to do something to stop the bleeding here because we're just getting owned by this team. Keep his ball. That's half time. Signaled by the referee. And the fans are letting us hear it. And I do not blame them. They had a wonderful strike to take the lead. Look at them now. Well, they're in a wonderful position, but you just know that. The Lions going to come storming back in the second half. They got anything about them? I hope so. so. <laughs> we need we need some nil. fire. Let's take a look back at the highlights from that first team. half, and then we'll be back over to your commentary team for the second half. So we'll take a look, a uh, quick look at the table. Uh, Tottenham's beating Red Bull Salzburg. I don't see. Oh wait, there it is. Lutzerin is drawing with Florentina. Which isn't good. But right now, 7-1 to the shots. That has to stop. We're getting dominated possession. We're not... Hitting on all cylinders. My guys are just playing poorly all around. Back line's terrible. Well, we got all to do in the second half, so... in the remit now nope. the referee we got an injury now not encouraged to put the ball out it's stopped because the referee says this player needs some treatment as well as some a nasty knock here. here at the drop ball after the injured player has gone off a turnover substitution swing in for leniency see if we change the formation up a little bit maybe we can get a little more pressure on the ball Understand that. Natsu comes on. And it is a substitute coming on for an already booked player. Unfortunately, McGeady's got to come off. Forgot with the change of formation. I need to instruct my players on what to do. Maybe Barclay can get a little spring in the step. Pushing forward. See if we can cause some havoc. Got to be. Keep oh. Oh, Atsu with the shot with the penalty. Pienaar wanted the ball, but Atsu wanted to take the shot with a penalty from behind. Is there a card? Huge, huge decision here. Yeah, he might have done a bit more damage to his opponent and seems to have been the case. Huge decision. And I believe they're going to make a substitution. Substitution coming up as they look to make sure they hold their lead till the final whistle. Here we go. Lukaku comes off. McKaylee comes in. Baines will line up to take the kick. The top right left. Oh, he guesses the right way. But Baines puts it away. Beautiful goal. We're back level. Find the top left like that. Really just takes a nerve. Just out of the keeper's reach. Baines. Just clinical. Keeper couldn't get to it. We put enough power on it. We're tied 1-1. Now, can we hold this result? Mr. Bain gets his first goal. I believe that's his first goal of the season. This is 
where you have got to be. Oh, to get in front here. got through the defense. Lovely little ball. Just wide. And that's it. Unfortunately, we get a draw, but we didn't lose either. But we did not, we still are not playing to our potential right now. I mean, we're lucky to get that penalty. So it's full time with the final score, one all. I'll leave you with the full match highlights. And until next time, I've been Jeff Stelling. So you can see we did get some shots back. We only had one on target, but it was a very tough match. They played us tough. We did not play well at all passing the ball. Obviously, none of my guys got men in the match. My back line's still in a mess. Uh, Distant had a terrible game. Lukaku didn't play well. I mean, my... Barkley played horribly. God. Just making so many errors. Too many turnovers. Too much. Not enough possession. It's kind of been the story so far this season. I don't know what else I need to change. I mean, we're fortunate to get the result. But let's hope it didn't affect us too bad. So until next time, this is Ice Reaper 31, and thanks for watching.